All right, we've got one more of these logically complete questions before we get to the grammar. So again, if you're worried about timing, feel free to just guess something and move on. You don't want to miss out on those grammar questions and the transitions and outlines at the end. But, um, you know, with some practice, we can get better and better at these, and hopefully you won't need to skip them, whether you're in the easy module or the hard module. So let's take a look. Uh, indigenous cultures possess unique knowledge of the medicinal uses of plants. According to a 2021 study, 73% of the medicinal uses of plants native to North America are reflected in the vocabulary of a single indigenous language. However, as more and more indigenous people exclusively speak a globally dominant language such as English, their ancestral languages fade from daily use. These facts lend added importance to tribal nations' efforts to preserve their languages. By ensuring the continued use of Cherokee, Ojibwa, and hundreds of other indigenous languages in what is now the United States, Tribal nations are also, I guess, preserving plant words, right? Where am I getting that from? Well, uh, when they talked about the plants and then they talked about the plants again. And then I think one more time, they kind of talked about them. Well, they talked about the language fading, right? So if the language is fading, what were we specifically talking about with the language? The plant words. So I'm sure there's other consequences of losing out on these languages, but I don't care about them because that's not what the passage is about. So let's stick to the consequences that they give us here and see if there's any choice that kind of fits that. There, Tribal nations are also preserving the plant words. Okay. A, increasing the number of medicinal plants represented in the vocabularies of indigenous languages. Well, <clears throat> this is, this I think is wrong, but I'm not 100% sure. I think what's wrong with this is we're, we're, we're saving what's there, but A is saying that we're adding more. Right, so so think about that, right? I use the word preserving in my summary. We're preserving the, the words that are there. Choice A is saying we're increasing the number of words that are in those languages. That's different, right? That's not the same thing. Maybe if all these languages are mixing together and they're taking, you know, oh, you got these plant words in Cherokee and we've got these other different ones in Ojibwe, well, we'll bring, bring them all together and now we got even more plant words. That's not what they're saying. So uh, this makes me nervous. I'm always nervous about words that quantify things in answer choices. I'm not going to eliminate this, but it, it, it seems like it's going too far. It seems like it's taking what the obvious answer is going to be and then kicking it up a notch, and we're not allowed to do that. It needs to be as close to just what the passage says as possible. So B, uh, the tribal nations are also transmitting terms for medicinal plants from indigenous languages to globally dominant languages. Um, again, this feels probably true in some way, right? I mean, if they're saying, hey, we're preserving this language because it has these words that are really important, then maybe they will get picked up by other languages in the same way that like, I know what a, a burrito is, even though I barely speak Spanish because English has absorbed that word, right? Like maybe that's, that's true, but that's not I don't, I don't think that, again, that's, I think it's the same problem as A, is like, that's not really what they're saying. They're talking about, look at the symmetry here, the continued use, right? We're preserving that, so we're preserving the words that are there. We're not adding a new language. I don't know, this this scares me, this choice. Let's look at C. Oh, wow, look, ha, it's choice C. Tribal nations are preserving knowledge about the medicinal value of plants native to the tribal nation's lands. Okay, it's a little less specific, right? Or a little bit, uh, maybe even more specific. They're talking about the knowledge of the plants. I was just more talking about the words for the plants. Um, but I like that better. I like that it uses the word preserving. That's not the only uh, reason I like it. I mean, sometimes, yeah, you happen to pick a word that's in one of the choices. That does not mean that the choice is definitely correct. But I think there's a reason I chose the word preserving. I'm talking about saving a language. So uh, yeah, it's, it's nice that it's the same sentiment. Let's look at D though. Um, they're ensuring that citizens of tribal nations have physical access to the medicinal plants. No, it's not about like going to the grocery store and having this particular root on the shelves. That's not what we're talking about here. So that that's it's always about the words, right? It's not about the plants themselves. The whole past about the words. Um, so I, I think it's going to be C. Let me just go back and double check that I didn't miss anything here. These choices are close enough that I'd be a little nervous of that. So again, going back to the top, indigenous cultures possess unique knowledge of the medicinal uses of plants. Okay, so that hits... This, this idea here in C, according to a study, 73% uh, of the medicinal use of plants native to North America are reflected in the vocabulary of a single indigenous language. So again, it's the use of the plants. 
Um, however, as more and more indigenous people exclusively speak a globally dominant language, such as English, their ancestral languages fade from daily use. These facts land added importance to tribal nations' efforts to preserve their languages. Oh, preserve isn't there. I completely missed that before. By ensuring the continued use of Cherokee, Ojibwe, and the hundreds of other indigenous languages in which the United States, tribal nations are also preserving the uses uses of plants. Notice uses here, uses here. So I kind of ignored that aspect before, but now I feel better um, picking C because it's also about the medicinal use. It says value, but it's the same idea, right? The use of the plant, what is it good for? Why, why is it useful? Why is it valuable, right? Um, again, going back to A, uh, it, it's. I, I still think it's not about increasing the overall number of words, it's preserving something. That word preserve is also in the passage. Maybe I subconsciously noticed that when I chose it originally. Uh, B, transmitting terms for medicinal plants from medicinal, no, it's because it, it's not about English, right? This is maybe what I would call a main character confusion. Another common problem we have in wrong answer choices and hard questions, right? This is making the main character the globally dominant languages like English, right? They're the ones benefiting. But the point of the passage was the main character is these other languages that are getting preserved. So B is kind of flipping it and, and making us focus on the wrong thing. C, though, is keeping the focus on the, uh, the tribal nation language and what words they have for these medicinal uses. It's a tough question, but yeah, we worked through it. And I think having a very clear summary from the start really helped me sort through those choices. And um, I also was just okay with kind of keeping a choice around that I didn't love and then saying, okay, well, let's see if anything better comes along, right? And so that's why we can't just jump on the first thing that is a little bit related to our summary. There might be a couple like that and then we'll have to sort through them and maybe enhance our dumb summary with additional words to just clarify what it's about. Um, this is exactly what I would have done on a real test. So, uh, you know, it's okay. Even I, with years of practice, am confused sometimes by questions, even on a PSAT meant for eighth and ninth graders. So if you're confused on stuff, don't panic. You will get better with practice just like I do. But even still, a lot of it is just getting comfortable with that confusion and learning how to, to sort through it all and navigate yourself to the right answer.